Hey everybody, Roger here. Hope you guys are all having a great day. I uh, want to talk to you today about this tweet that I saw and everybody's talking about it. And I want to see for myself, before I even watch it, what kind of video this is going to be. Uh, I heard it's, it's cringe. I heard it's, it's, uh, it's, it's vapid. It's empty. Um, I've heard a lot of different things about it, but I want to see for myself. And I want to invite you guys along to see it with me, and let's see uh, what ends up happening here. I have some theories, you know. I think that he's going to ask off softball questions because, again, you know, Mr. Uh, Joe Biden, who's been in in uh, in uh, office, uh, serving America for 180 years, is apparently. Uh, 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 getting ready for a debate tomorrow and uh, we'll see what happens we'll see if it even takes place uh, I believe the debate is 8 p.m. and I think that's past his bedtime so they might you know along with the rock as well you know they probably might give him some some sort of steroid or or stimulant to 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 keep sound and keep awake during the debate if his earpiece if his flesh colored earpiece doesn't fall off so anyways, um, I wanted to make sure I watch this with you guys and let's 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 just see what happens and go from there and we'll discuss things along the way. I want to, you know, I'll probably stop it here and there just to kind of put my two cents in with any kind of questions that he asks. I bet all the questions, all the questions are going to be hokey, I bet. Okay, so he says, as a political independent and centrist, I highly doubt you are, I voted for both parties in the past. In this critical presidential election, I'm endorsing Joe Biden and Kamala Harris. Uh, progress takes courage, humanity, empathy, strength, kindness, and respect. We must all vote. And then he gives a bitly link to probably go and, and contribute some money to the Bidens and the Harrises of the world. Um, so we start off, you know, him doing what he needs to do to to pander and that that's totally fine you know you got to respect that everybody has a right to uh, 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 express their views and 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 put in uh, like what I do you know put in some commentary about who we wish to elect and why and reasons why we don't want to vote for the other side or yada 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 so let's hear what he has to say happy Sunday everybody we are approximately five weeks away from election day, arguably the most critical election our country has seen in decades. Now that said, I'm going Okay, I have to start off by pointing out the obvious. Uh, for a man who believes in, in, um, in all these things that he's bringing up in his tweet here, I mean, there's one thing he fails to bring up and that's uh, uh, illegal substance abuse. <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm just saying. I'm not a... I'm not a, I don't watch movies all that I, I do I watch horror movies and stuff that's my that's my that's my uh, my vice uh, when it comes to entertainment uh, and especially low budget or and or 80s movies um, horror movies but I I don't watch a lot of the modern day fluff stuff like what he does I believe it's the Scorpion King I believe it's uh, Fast and Furious um, I don't know. I think he was like a fairy nanny in a movie or something. I don't know. To each their own. But I don't watch the junk that he puts out, nor what the majority of Hollywood puts out. Um, but I guess they encourage encourage um, uh, steroid use and and whatnot. So you know, it is what it is. And you know, maybe some adrenochrome here and there. Who knows? <laughs> we'll see. I'm going to be pushing this political conversation uh, just a little bit more now. You know, look, I've got friends in all parties, but the one thing that we can always agree on is the conversation and the dialogue and where that conversation lands is always the most critical part. Now, this is something that I've certainly not done in the past, so I'm gonna go big. <laughs> you guys know me, if I go, I go big. So guys, I had the opportunity to sit down. These better be big questions. That's all I gotta say. If you're gonna go big, ask the big important questions. That's that's all I that's all I asked, Wayne. Ask the big important questions, please. With Vice President Joe Biden and Senator Kamala Harris to talk about a number of important issues that we're facing as a country. I thought it was a great and extremely productive conversation that we had. And as a registered independent for years now with centrist centrist excuse me ideologies. I do feel that that was a tough word for him. So, yeah. Vice President Biden and Senator Harris are the best choice to lead our country, and I am endorsing them to become president and vice president 
of our United States. Okay, celebrity culture. Celebrity culture is rotten. Celebrity culture is what influences, unfortunately, uh, a lot of people in, in the United States and in the world. Uh, a lot of people who don't follow politics, a lot of people who don't understand history, who don't, who don't understand civics, um, trying to, you know, us, uh, trying to actually understand all these things, those who don't understand it are doomed to pay attention to, excuse my language here, mindless fucks like this guy who is just a tool in place who probably, I, I'm going to bet, I'm going to bet, he's, he's going to ask softball questions. That's a given. I just wonder how they're going to be answered, and um, you know what? How, how softballish is are these questions going to be? But but people, the majority of people, they do make a difference. These celebrities do sometimes end up making a difference. Now it didn't make a difference in 2016 when when Hillary Clinton and um, uh, Hillary Clinton had this big ass free concert for a lot of people with Beyonce and and a lot of other people, and it didn't make a difference. It didn't make a difference, but historically it has had an influence if 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 in some part to sway certain voters here and there and again when i say voters i i mean that loosely there are um empty beings out there who don't understand uh uh certain people in politics who don't get the job done and you don't look at their record but they just go in there and look at them if they have a d behind their name or an r behind their name they will just vote that way they won't they hardly ever if ever look at what their policies are, what they are currently doing to make the world a better place or a worse place or their area a, a better or worse place. And I don't mean the world, I mean the United States and or their state and district. Um, it's just, it, it's sad that they actually have a lot of control uh, in that respect, but a vote is a vote. Everybody, I firmly do believe, even if it's not in our best interest, uh, Overall, as a country, we all vote as a unit. You know, three, uh, however many million people there are that are registered voters. I don't even know the number. 150, 180 million. Who knows? Um, it is everybody's equal right to vote. So, it we have failed in in making sure that people are educated uh, from K through 12, uh, at least in the general sense of general schooling. To vote, you know, to vote in their best interest. Nobody knows about civics. Nobody knows about history. Everybody's forgotten about all these things, and so you know, they they, they take they take physical education. Uh, they get half half days off. They take home ec classes. They take things that are not going to enrich their lives to make better decisions and look at the crap like this and say, oh, you know, I can read between the lines here. This doesn't. There's no substance here yet. Okay, I'm not saying that. I'm prejudging it. Let's go ahead and go on and, and, and see what he has to say. Hopefully, there's some good questions. You know, this past January, approximately nine months ago, my old man died. And I didn't get a chance to say goodbye to him, but he... The sympathy here. Okay, that, he's drawing out the sympathy crowd now. Um, again, it, it doesn't matter, dude. I mean, RIP to your dad, but that has nothing to do with this, I'm pretty sure always said that respect is given when it's earned so you got to get out there and you got to earn it with your own two hands and that was my very first question to vice president biden and senator harris and that question is how will you earn the respect of the american people once you're inside the white house well joe biden had eight years to try <laughs> or in his case he's or in his for his personal claim 180 years um <laughs> or the way his handlers put it on his um you know for him to read here's out. that conversation I agree, Jack. okay first off we're already two minutes in we have five and a half minutes left did he just call him dj it's dj Oh, come on. Is that some sort of a term of endearment? I've never, have you ever heard The Rock be called DJ? I've heard him called Dwayne The Rock Johnson, The Rock, or just Dwayne Johnson. I've never heard him be called DJ. Now, it could be me. I, I don't follow celebrity culture. I could be out of it. I bet this was intended to... I bet DJ was the, the phrase to use for his name and intended to be used to try to attract... I don't know. I have no clue, but it's stupid. If Kamala does this too, I'd be. It's, I'm just gonna laugh. Hey. Hey. Hi. Oh my god. Her laugh is cringe. Hey guys, I, I gotta tell you. Well, it, it is so good seeing you guys, uh, Senator Harris. 
It's a pleasure to finally see you and finally meet you. Thank you. It is a pleasure to see you. I'm a huge fan of everything from Fast and Furious, all of them, to Jumanji. So thank you. And there's the pandering. Thank you for your work. <laughs> Thank you so much. Well, well, thank you. Thank you for your work. Um, let me start off by saying, guys, I've been a lucky guy over the years in, in my life and my career to, to have been part of and participated in some real defining moments. And I have never publicly endorsed a presidential candidate or a vice presidential candidate um, in my life, over my career. So I figured let's kick this conversation off this way by me officially uh, publicly endorsing you both uh, to become president and vice president of our great country. Thanks. Uh, oh boy, celebrity culture. Again, you have people like uh, Billie Eilish, uh, 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 what is her name? Um, the one that always sings about fucking boyfriends and then leaving them, Taylor Swift. Um, you have all these people who just, their crowd, that's who a lot of these people grow up with. You know, I don't, I grew up with music as well, but I also was taught to, to make sure I did the best that I could in school. If I didn't do good, I usually got spanked. Uh, as I got older, I didn't get spanked. But um, my parents understood the value of, of a good education and learning beyond what is part of your curriculum. I had a mom that only went up to second grade. And uh, so it was very important to her that that uh, all of her kids succeed. And we have, all, all of my siblings, uh, we all have great careers. Um, we have all had great education. And um, yeah, it's, it's, it's uh, music, musicians, artists, uh, um, uh, uh, actors, actresses and stuff. A lot of people pay attention to what they have to say. I don't know why. I, well, I do know why. That's why I said what I said earlier. They do, they, they do because it's a big influence on their lives. So I'll have like a, a young nephew or, or cousins or something who are young in their teens and they'll go to the voting the, the the voting booth and be like, well, The Rock, I, I do like The Rock. Let's go ahead and vote for Joe Biden and Kamala Harris. It is an influence. It's a power that the Democrats have had for a long time. They know that celebrity culture culture works for the most part. And so it, it at least does shift uh, uh, the ties to some people. But I think there are a growing number of people out there who see the BS behind a lot of these celebrities who just who, who pander. And uh, they want to get away from it. But let's see. Let's see if these guys, uh, so far I haven't heard a question, and it's almost three minutes, so. Oh, that's fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That means a great incredible. deal to us, for real. Thank really? you. For real. The Thank thing. You. you know, the thing. You guys are, are, are both obviously experienced to lead. You've done great things. No, they're not. Joe, you've had such an incredible career. You, you've led, in my opinion, with great compassion and, and heart and drive, uh, but also soul. And you and I talked about that in the past and how important soul is. And uh, Kamala, I'm going to embarrass you just for a little bit because I'm going to talk a little bit. About Why is this makes no sense? Soul. Why all these general statements? Why all these um, nothing isms? I mean, it's just so far as just pandering, so far as just praise. We're 3 311 into it. Okay. There, I don't know. These these questions are probably going to be quick and move fast, and quick answers. I bet. What about your uh, your amazing experience? And <laughs> you have been an attorney, a district attorney, a state attorney, uh, a U.S. senator. Smart, tough. I've seen you in those hearings, and um, <laughs> in, in my opinion, you are a certified badass. I, I am honored, and thank you for that. That's a huge compliment from you. Uh, what is this? What is this? Where are the questions? Where? Why is this just a um, a praise? A, I don't know a a, a a a a cock worship type situation. I mean, he's literally just like licking the balls of these two. And uh, excuse my language, but that's what he's doing. I, I so far we're halfway through this. I have seen nothing of substance, and I'm sorry I'm putting you guys through this. <laughs> I think you're welcome. <laughs> Joe, you and I have talked about the relationship that you had with your with your father. You know, this idea of respect and, and earning respect that our parents have taught us. My dad always said, respect is given when it's earned. A uh, question I had is, how will the both of you earn the respect of all the American people once you're in that White House? By doing what we say we're going to do, by keeping our word by leveling with the American people, by taking responsibility 
when we fail, acknowledge it. We're not going to be perfect to be, but take responsibility. Say, this is what I'm going to do. This is what I believe. And tell the truth. That sounds so basic. But the American... Tell the truth. Okay. Tell the truth like you've been in office for 180 years. Uh, tell the truth and you've gotten shit done. You've gotten no progress there. Uh, tell the truth and calling one of your potential voters uh, fatty. Uh, tell the truth by calling one of the... Uh, People who ask you a question you didn't like, uh, a dog face, dog face pony soldier liar or whatever, whatever that phrase was, um, trying to tell somebody, trying to threaten somebody who's asking you questions about firearms. Um, you, I mean, and, and then also probably one of the biggest ones that nobody really talks about, as far as like saying things, um, saying that you would actually, if it was, if you and Donald Trump were in a schoolyard and it was back in your schoolyard days, you'd love to go back there and beat him up. I mean, you guys push violence. You have Miss Thing over here pushing violence as well with uh, telling uh, Stephen Colbert that the fights must go on or the riots must go on. And, uh, you know, her, this guy, these guys just campaign, uh, uh, I believe, through Act Blue. I can't remember how it's all coordinated. And then through Black Lives Matter and through, I, I don't know about Antifa, but uh, they are bailing out people uh, left and right, the people that actually commit the hard crimes. So that's why, you know, when you go over to the data from like um, uh, Mother Jones or whatever, all these BS places, and they say, oh, well, look, you know, it's only like white supremacists and, and, and people on the right that are causing trouble. But then you look at the map, it's like, no, it's, uh, you have people not being prosecuted because they're, they're um, the, uh, uh, the district attorneys and whatnot are, are are Soros hires or Soros plants, I should say, and they're not prosecuting. Nobody is prosecuting any of these, 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 uh, these thugs from BLM or from Antifa that are actually causing major crimes. So they're not even owning up to that. You know, if they say they're going to be truthful about things, they have not called out BLM. They have not called out Antifa. They have not told people to lessen the riots. In fact, they encourage it. They do it. You can see it whenever they're talking to all these people. Kamala Harris herself, even on Jimmy Kimmel Live said, uh, I'm sorry, not Jimmy Kimmel, on uh, Stephen Colbert's uh, show, uh, the riot should never stop and they will not stop even before or after, blah, blah, blah. It's like they're telling you to your face. But people still love these people? I, I, I don't understand it. Along with their sordid pasts, mind you. But okay, uh, let's hear this this softball question and answer american people are strong they're tough they can take anything if you level with them and tell the truth and one of the ways we're going to do it is demonstrate we mean what we say our administration dj is going to look like america dj it's going to be representative of all of america absolutely kamala how, how do you how do you feel how do we earn it how do we earn it with our own two hands but wait a minute is that the question he gave him that's the question he gives by okay I was seriously thinking softball. I was not thinking fucking T-ball. I mean, that's this is this is. I mean, you you have the ball sitting on the tee there with the with the uh, a plastic bat. That's what that's what uh, the Rock. If you want to vote, that's the that's the new campaign slogan right now. If you want to be as dumb as a Rock, vote Biden and Kamala. You know, the Rock is doing it right now. Insane. That wasn't even a question. The next question he asks him better be good. It better be deeper than there's only three minutes left less than three okay well you know to your point dj I'm, it, so oh god DJ. Uh, it's about trust right and as we know the nature of trust is that like joe was saying and, and you've said it's a reciprocal relationship you give it's got electrolytes <laughs> it's got electrolytes <laughs> and you receive trust Yes. And one of the foundations of trust is truth. You must truth. speak truth, but here's the reality. Does that to Biden? Truth. truth can sometimes be really difficult to hear. And for that reason, sometimes people don't speak it. Well, you never speak the truth, um, especially lying about musicians that you used to like before their time uh, and smoking weed and whatnot and incarcerating a lot of uh, black youth. Uh, yeah, whatever. Um, she pointed to Biden when she said truth, <laughs> like like he's supposed to be the arbiter of truth. And I, I don't think so, lady. But you and, can't. and another thing, why is, if I see him do this again, DJ, DJ was nodding his head in agreement like, 
she's not saying anything. There's no substance here. What what are you nodding at? This is all like general nothingness and platitudes. It's just it's empty. It's like she's talking and there's a word salad coming out. She's doing the Biden tactic right now. And the shit part is a lot of the people who like Dwayne the Rock Johnson are are going to be persuaded to vote this way even after this nothing burger interview. They're going to be persuaded regardless if there's any substance in here or not. We got Two and a half minutes left, less than two and a half minutes, and I have not heard a great question. All I've heard is just emptiness, word salads. And Dwayne The Rock Johnson is just, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay. You cannot have trust if you don't speak truth. You know that as a parent. We know that as parents. You have to speak truth. And as long as there is an understanding that it is being spoken not to confront, not to hurt, but to deal with things, the way they must be handled. I think that's, that has to be part of the core of, of, of what we do as we go forward because to your point, we're facing as a country so many challenges and people are grieving. I mean, people are grieving the loss of life, the loss of jobs, the loss of certainty. The loss of life. Again, for the normies out there, uh, again, I know my audience is not really normie, so this isn't on you, but in general, People who come in here and just see, stumble on this video for no apparent reason. Um, the loss of life is attributed at the state level. It's attributed at the city level. Your governors and mayors are the ones enacting these these um, ordinances and 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 um, and uh, mandates that are requiring that have required regular Joe Blow people like me to be housed if I'm positive with this any a flu or COVID or whatever to be housed with senior citizens who were the, the vulnerable uh, 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 demographic. We knew that weeks in. We knew that weeks in. Trump can't tell the state what to do. Trump can finance. Trump can, Trump can suggest. Some can off, Trump can offer some assistance in some aspects. But he can't force a state to do... Um, uh, to, 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 he can't force a state to, uh, to run by his will. You have Cuomo, Andrew Cuomo, who's killed thousands of senior citizens with this manner of, of mandating, of directing uh, and requiring that younger people be housed with uh, senior citizens in nursing homes and, and um, uh, elderly care facilities. A lot of them died. Those are his hand. Then you have Gretchen Whitmer, who did similar, similar as well. Then you have Gavin Newsom. I mean, you have all of these people who have basically contributed to the death and, and eradication of a demographic. And, and we don't know if it's on purpose or not. This girl saying that this, uh, this, this woman here saying that it's, uh, 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 everybody's dealing with the losses of, of life and everything, blame your local uh, uh, elected representatives and do something about it in the next election. Do something about it when their name is on the ballot again. Get those, get those fucks out of there. You don't need it anymore. And then she's saying everybody is sad and this and that. Businesses are closing. Well, yes, of course. There's a power shift going on. Something beyond the surface level of what we're seeing here. Um, we have a, 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 a event 201. We have a new world order. We have, we have, um, uh, 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 a surveillance state. We have all of the uh, uh, currency changes. We have all of these things being pushed on us right now, and and uh, we have a lot of the big wigs now being silent. I haven't heard Bill Gates in a while, uh, Anthony Fauci here here and there, uh, but but there's still the cards are still rolling in the back there. Look at Australia, Melbourne. Uh, look at Ireland, and, and then look at the places that are all protesting as well against the lockdowns. There's a power shift here. The power shift is going to the billionaire class, the elitist. You know, they tell us that we can only have a certain number of people open. Um, um, they tell us we're not uh, for the businesses like 20% uh, capacity, 25% capacity. You can't have over this. You can't have over that. There's, 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 uh, uh, you, there's WalMarts and Targets that are considered essential businesses. There are fast food restaurants that are considered essential. Why is that essential? Why can you put your, why can some adult put their grubby hands on your food, can be considered essential, but yet kids can't go into school. Kids can't go into school and, and play around and, and play with each other like normal kids. You can grab something and eat something made from somebody who potentially could have a, a the, the, you know, the disease that can't be named, the, vir the, the virus that can't be named, 
but you're not letting kids live their lives. We're living in fear. It's on purpose. It's being orchestrated for changes later on down the line. So beyond this election, everybody is pissing their pants for, for one person, one person of an executive branch and three branches of government. They're pissing their pants over one person getting reelected when there's a multitude of world global problems that are actually worse than this. And these people know it. And that's what she's pandering to. She's pandering to the simple-minded who don't want to understand the realities of what's really going on. There are bigger things than what we're seeing on the surface here. And getting them in will end up shifting and, 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 and progressing this, this, uh, this global state, this one world, one world as one order, uh, where they control our thoughts and our minds. And people, you know, they're going to have Stockholm Syndrome and, and they worship these people with the Stockholm Syndrome. And, 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 and they love their masters who are, who are taking away their rights, who are taking away their businesses, who are indebting them with, with loans that have to be repaid, that are indebting them with, with, with I, just debt. I mean, and, 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 and the Stockholm Syndrome is going to be coming in here and everybody is going to be worshipping these people. And then those same people who fall for this shit. Who are like, oh, the government's looking out for me. I might be poor. I might not have my business anymore. I might be knee in debt with all these loans from the government and, and, my, and, and all my employees are gone and everything and I'm starving over here, but they're going to give me incentive. If I turn in my neighbor, if he's breaking the rules, I'll get that extra ration of bread, an extra $2. It's probably, it's probably worth nothing you know, due to hyperinflation and whatnot later on down the line, but they, they're happy for it. They love their masters and they'll die for their masters. That's what's going on here. The loss of normalcy. And to heal and get through this, we're going to have to be honest about what healing will require. Yes. And that's one of the things that Joe this? and I really do have in common, which is we're motivated by healing. But we know to do that, we have to be honest about what it's going to take. Yes, absolutely. You know, and and. and how can you say yes, absolutely? There was nothing of substance there. Oh my gosh. Oh my and gosh. to that point, when you're honest with a scenario and people who you care about, and obviously we, you guys, all of us care but deeply about our American people, um, th that when you, you mentioned the word decency, you mentioned, you mentioned the word respect and honesty, dealing with this, but it's also, it leads right into making progress, but through a humanity and how important that progress is, but through humanity. And, and, um, and thank you for saying that. All I heard was somebody shitting in the bathroom stall very loud. I didn't hear anything of substance. I heard word salad. I heard nothing. What? We're, okay, we have a minute left. Less than a minute. I wonder what other questions he's gonna ask here. Uh, this has already been a waste of time and I'm very sorry I put you guys through this, but at least you don't have to watch it on your own, right? <laughs> Truth and progress. Wait a minute. Okay. He said questions in the beginning, right? He said questions in the beginning. He only asked one question. And there might be some people say, no, 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 he asked two. No, he asked one question. And he, he got the answer from Joe Biden, this, this non-answer. And, and then he asked Kamala the same question. So it was really one question. What the hell was this? This is nothing. This is nothing. Nothing through humanity. I like the tie in there of what Vice President Biden and Senator Harris said about truth, because as we all seek the truth and as we all want to do our best to speak truthfully to each other, uh, it, it's not to confront, it's not to hurt, um, but it's to make progress. And you know, to me, there's a lot of ways that we as a human race can make progress, but the most powerful way for us to make progress to me is through humanity, is through decency. Progress through humanity, progress through decency, through equality, progress through kindness, because kindness matters. I appreciate you guys joining me in oh this conversation God. here, and there is much more to come. Again, operating on feelings. Uh, the law doesn't work that way. The law doesn't care about your feelings. Um, it cares about facts. It cares about situations. It cares about people following them or not following them and keeping things in order. I don't know what the fuck this bullshit was. This is, this is insane. It's insulting. 
Uh, it really is, if people fall for this, and so far 366.2 thousand people on Twitter alone have fallen for this, and they're okay with, with this uh, 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 pandering. They're okay with this nothing burger. Almost 400,000 people. Now, granted, Twitter is in its own little element here. It's not the, the, the world. Uh, people bitch and moan on here. It is blue check world over here. Uh, and it is hyper-leaning left. And it's very highly censored. I believe I am actually <laughs> censored on Twitter quite a bit. I don't get any responses. Very rarely do I do. And if the re if I do get any tweets back, I think it's a, a bot farm uh, where, where there's a lot of people. Not even just a bot farm, but fake accounts that are created on a whim. And they have no past, and then they want to debate with you to try to persuade you to think another way. They seem so real, but they're not. But it's just insane. This is insulting. This is, this should be insulting. If you fall for this, you should feel very insulted. More insulted than if somebody was to, I don't know, walking on you, whatever, doing something stupid. Uh, uh, <laughs> you know, I was going to go somewhere. But... It is what it is at this point. Um, this is where we're at. We're dealing, this, these are the hands that they're playing. They've tried every other hand. They're trying the Trump taxes. You know, oh, he hasn't paid taxes. Well, he paid 750 bucks. Plus, in addition, you know, I think it's over the years, he took advantage of a lot of the, um, the, uh, uh, the tax code edits and whatnot that allowed him to, to pay in advance uh, for future taxes and, and whatnot. So he's paid millions upon millions upon millions. Um, he also donates his salary, his presidential salary, which is already what, four, five, I don't know, 16, 1.6 million, I, I believe, in the four years. I don't know. But it is what it is. You know, even if he didn't pay taxes, the things that he's doing for America, that he's done for America, that he's proven he can accomplish and do, I don't care what the guy does with his finances. I think they're trying to run with the crazy rumor because. They have nothing else to go with. This was a story four years ago. Why is it a story today? It doesn't make any sense. But that's what I got. I, I thought we were going to get questions. We got a question. And it was, a. I guess The Rock is pulling a Roger here. And he's making a, this, this video, his video should have only been two minutes. Again, mine should have been only 10, if that. But it is what it is at this point. What are you guys' thoughts? Did you guys, do you guys, are you guys falling for this? Do you know any other people who, because they like The Rock, uh, they're going to be voting for Biden and, and Harris uh, because of this video, because he's endorsing them. Is this it, our celebrity culture? Is a celebrity culture uh, something that a lot of your friends and family appreciate? And, and regardless of, of, um, of who they back, of who these celebrities back, they will remember that in the, in the voting booth or in the absentee ballot or the mailed ballot in some states and vote because this guy told them to. It's a real big problem when our education system doesn't teach people about the importance of understanding civics, the importance of understanding history, the importance of understanding uh, policy, law, and everything. Um, and before they get out to the real world, no, it's all home ec classes and and uh, special courses. It's just just dumb. Anyways, you guys, that's my rant here. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. And my new format here, um, it's a lot easier for me to make videos this way, and, and uh, we go from there. All right, guys, let me know what you think about Mr. Dwayne, The Rock, voting like a Rock Johnson uh, in the comments below. And uh, like, hey, subscribe, and subscribe, share, don't share. I do love it all. Peace out. That's why I made it a priority in my entire career to work closely with you. From the time I got to the Senate 180 years ago, <laughs> you know, as well as my tenure as vice president.